Hello, this is Laura with DNN Sharp. In this video, I will show you how to use our PayPal add-on together with Action Form. I will start off with a simple form containing a first name, last name and email fields, as well as a pay and cancel button. You will notice that once you install the add-on, you will have an extra action on the button. Let us see what it is all about. We create a pay button and on it we add PayPal Express Checkout. Now PayPal Express Checkout has a lot of fields to fill in and it is vital to fill them in properly because otherwise it, it will not work. Let us see where we get all this information from. First of all, we need a PayPal account on which we get uh, paid. I have a dummy one and I will log in to it. As you can see here, we need the API username, API password and API signature. We can find those here. We go to developer.paypal.com slash developer dashboard We'll have sandbox and under sandbox we have accounts. We click on accounts and we will see here our two dummy accounts one for seller and one for buyer. First of all, we need the seller one. We expand it and click on profile. One of the first steps actually is to change our password because it does not come with a defined password. Then after we have done that, we go to API credentials and here we have our username, password and signature. We take them individually and fill in the fields with them. After all is said and done, we can proceed with the other fields. They are pretty self-explanatory. Payment description, what the transaction is about, for example, a service name, item title, transaction currency. Here we have several currencies to choose from. I will go with US dollar for now. Amount, which is uh, the price you want the customer to pay you and recurring we will not set a subscription for now there are also several uh, results for this action success error pending and cancel on success i chose to send an email and display a message the email will be sent to the email field uh, using the email token and will contain a simple success message the display message again a success message to know that the transaction worked properly. Let us see how it functions. I have pre-filled the email field so I do not have to type it in every time. And this means we're on the right track because this is what we're supposed to be shown. Here we have to complete our transaction. We are the customer in this window, so we have to fill in our uh, sandbox test account for buyer. We take the info from here. Actually, we need only the email address and password. The password is already set up by me. You can see to the left the item price, the item description and quantity. Continue and let's see if it worked. Well, this display message means our action was a success. There are a few settings that pertain to our PayPal account that I haven't talked about. We have to log in to sandbox.paypal.com using our, our seller account, which is facilitator. We go to profile, my selling tools. Here an overview, we have our PayPal balance, um, our activity. And here we have to set up API access, which is very important. 
we go straight to the last option, enable express checkout to accept payments from your online stores right away. Of course, it, uh, PayPal express checkout will not work if this option is disabled. Since our payment went through, it was enabled, but if it is not for you, you hit submit and it will update. We go to profile again, my selling tools. API access again. You can see that this is a dummy account and for this we had developer.paypal.com and sandbox accounts. However, if you're using your personal account or a business one and you want to find your credentials, you access them here. Option 2, request API credentials to create your own API username and password. View API signature. and click show for each and every one of them. And these are the details you have to fill in the form with. We are, we hit done. And this is pretty much it. Thank you for watching.